Let man hear, but slow to speak and wrath. James chapter 1 and verse 19 So then, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verses 1 to 3 Walk prudently when you go to the house of God and draw near to hear rather than to give the sacrifice of fools for they do not know that they do evil. Do not be rash with your mouth and let not your heart utter anything hastily before God. For God is in heaven and you on earth. Therefore, let your words be few, for a dream comes through much activity, and a fool's voice is known by his many words. It is amply clear for every believing Christian that Yahweh is in control and that to have and they do have to mandatorily trust and obey Him in all circumstances. It is for this reason that every believer of Christ must learn and practice for all to see self-discipline and self-control which is an act of faith. The release of negativism comes from praising and thanking Yahweh for all things. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 18 bears this out. In everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. <clears throat> Anytime you think that you are confused and you're not in the will of God, the best thing is to do is to take time to look up to heavens and cry out and thank God for everything that is there in your life, that is happening in your life. Just thank Him. And what do you know? The first thing is that you will be bang in the center of God's will because that is His word. That is what He has said. In everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Here is another command to cleanse and clear the mind and heart in Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 31. <clears throat> Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Be angry and sin not. And that's in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 26a. And then, let the peace of God rule your hearts to which also you were called in one body and be thankful. Here is how the spoken words become self-destructive as Jesus clarifies in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 22. But I say to you, that whoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whoever says, You fool, 
shall be in danger of hell fire. Proverbs has this warning too in chapter 13 and verse 3. He who guards his mouth preserves his life, but he who opens wide his lips shall have destruction. Amen and Amen. Shalom, my dear friends. God commands, let man hear, but slow to speak and wrath. And that's in James chapter 1 and verse 19. So then, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak and slow to wrath. Do subscribe to this vlog. Thank you.